Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. And we're back again trying to stream Mystic Veil. Vale. It's been some issues with my computer and so on. Uh, but I'm going to try to do it one more time. And if it works out this time, this is the stream that, or this is the, the video that will be staying on my YouTube channel. Uh, because the other one, uh, first of all, there was some issues with my computer and then the whole thing crashed and all that. So yeah, let's try again. And let's see if uh, the stream is up and running. It looks like it is. Let's see, so just so that we have the whole uh, chat and so on. Let's see that it's working. Because, it, yeah, it seems to be working. Okay, so let's get into the game. Let's go to the classic. And we're going to play against a level 2 uh, difficulty opponent. Because the easy guy, I have beaten him. So it's fun to see if I can beat the next step. Uh, I just want to check so that the uh, stream is up. And it seems to be. And I have no idea if people are watching because, <laughs> because the other one crashed. And let's just hope that this one works out. So I have my car down, down here. Um, basically how this works is that you... You have your uh, field out here with cards and these cards are like a sl empty sleeve so you'll put other cards into them and it works like a deck builder but you have 20 cards to start off the game and then you have those 20 cards for the whole game you will never get more or less cards but you will upgrade or improve the cards as you go which is a fun take on the whole deck building genre uh, doing something new with it which was what Mystic Vale did and so here we have our deck on the deck we have a card which is the card deck on card now this also counts not the mana but it counts for one two three red threes and this as you can see here three out of three and that means we have stopped the the computer game will stop you automatically when you get to three threes if we want to we could push our luck and press the yellow button here to draw one more card but if we get another three we will be spoiled and we will not get to do anything except getting one extra mana for the future so instead i'm just going to go with it here i have two mana to use and i'm going to get pick up one of these fertile soils which will give me more money or more mana basically and i can put it in any card i want here that has the proper slot like i can't put it over here because this card already has something in the bottom slot it has a middle and an upper slot so i could take an upper one put it right in there and i'm done and now this that card comes up later on i will get two mana instead of one so you're kind of building your deck, but yeah, you're, you're, you're building your cards, basically. The AI is over here. We can see what he's doing if we want to in detail, but I like that it's just fast and he's just doing his thing and we can do our thing. So we have four. So let's see, what would we buy with four? I think I will pick up one of these. Yeah, I'll pick up one of these grassland cards. And what this is, it, it gives us a green tree which will cancel out one of the red trees on this on, not on the same card but on the same time on the field so that's really good because now we have like one more card we can pull basically in the deck and then um, we keep going like this and now this is a really bad draw we only have two mana but here in the beginning it's often like that oops you will have to just keep building up some fertile soil so that you can get some mana to start buying better cards with. And when you once you have your mana engine going, you're getting a lot of mana, then you want to start picking up these symbols, like the hawk here has a little bear claw symbol, because those symbols will let you buy these cards. That gives you points and special effects and are stronger. The veil cards, as they're called, I think. So I'll just keep buying fertile soils here. One thing I do must say I really like about this implementation is that when you hover over a card uh, there's a little animation like the flowers are moving and the hawk is you know he has the lightning in his eye and so on which i think is really cool they didn't need to do this uh, but it just like adds some flavor to the game like the yeah really cool stuff so we have five to purchase with uh, i think i will get the field of flowers because that's awesome with two mana and i'll just boot, i'll just make this card a really good mana card just put two, two things in there and let's see now we have three uh i think we'll just keep getting these fertile soils pretty easy played here in the beginning now i do like to keep some cards totally empty because later on i might find some good thing i want to put in them and we'll get another one of these flowers that's nice 
And let's see. There's a bunch of empty cards, so... I think I'm gonna push my luck, because... Yeah, I will. Okay, so... I have three to purchase with, but I, I wanna push my luck. And the next card was a blank. It was not a cursed card, so we're okay. We get four to purchase with now. And we could keep pushing our luck if we wanted to, but I wanted to get four because then I can pick up two fertile soils. I think that's smart. Okay. And so, I have seven to purchase with. Uh, calm weather would be nice, so let's get that one. And that gives us a tree once again. It also gives us a leaf symbol, which will help us buy these more powerful veil cards later on. And this was a bad draw. But now we really have an incentive to push our luck. Because as you can see, the next card, this card here, this is what will come out if we push and we're, we're successful. And that gives us a lot of mana. So let's do it. There it goes. And yeah, the next card was not a card symbol, so we're okay. So let's play with those six then. And let's get a, hmm, yeah, the, let's get these Deadwood Harvesters, because they are really nice. They let you, like, only, they let you um, discard a card in your field. So you can discard one of those cursed cards, and that way you can keep drawing more cards. And he's just going crazy over there. I'm not really, yeah, he's buying a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll see if we can beat him. So now have six mm, yeah I'll go with that because this druid song is nice it will let us get a wild symbol so that can count as any of these symbols up here for buying a veil card and we'll just keep putting fertile soils here as well to just boost the cards that we have oh hey Brian well I, I, I sort of died earlier in this game because my computer or the game froze up so the stream had to be stopped so I guess that's sort of a way to die in the game right and the one that i got now was really nice because this cancels all the red trees on this card which means i could get like the snake here i could put the snake on this card because he has a red tree but it doesn't matter because this card cancels all the those on that card so that's a good way to use that no draco's not involved when we're doing these uh uh these digital games he's not interested he likes he just likes physical board games so he's in the studio uh so i'm all by myself uh, okay so i have 10. what would i get with 10 the aurora gain one point for every two cards in your field that's that's really nice let's get her that is great okay and it gives us a uh, yellow the sun symbol there as well so we soon we can start picking up these cards up here, which is important as well for points and, and so on. So we have seven. Um, hmm. Oh, we can actually push our luck because when this comes out, we get to, to discard a card, so we can discard a cursed land. So they take each other out. So now we can keep going until we find, oh, look at that. And that's a green tree, so that we cancel. And that's blank. And that's bad. Okay. So now we have 12 to purchase with, which is awesome. Um, of course, you're going to back Suburbia. It looks awesome. <laughs> uh, I haven't checked out High Rise. I saw your comment about that, but I haven't done that yet. Um, what kind of game is it? I haven't really heard about it, I think. There's so many games, so I mean, can't keep track of them all. 12. I have 12 to purchase with. Oh, yeah, I do like that. I do like that uh, hive swarm there. Oh, the bear totem is nice as well. Let's get the bear. And then I have six more. Or do I have any armor symbols? No, I don't really have that. Let's just get a moon wolf then. There's an armor symbol, by the way, on the moon wolf. So later on, I can get that one of those. And uh, let's just keep discarding Cursed Lands. And uh, we're getting most of our deck out here. 17 cards, wow. Really nice. I mean, this gets us one point for every two. So we just got... What is it? Um, 
very two cards in my field, so I have, I don't know. That's a bunch of points. I have 17 to purchase with as well, which is crazy. So let's see, do I have now, do I have any armor symbols? No, I don't really have armor symbols on my cards. That's pretty bad. Um, hmm. And do I have the one? Yeah, yeah this is the one that cancels all the, the decay on this. Um, oh, is it from Jilhova? That's cool. Uh, so this is cancels all the uh, r uh, red symbols. So now I can put in. Uh, I'll just put in the hive swarm here. So that's red symbols cancel as well. But I get points and I get uh, sun symbol, which is nice. And the plow is nice for uh, for getting more uh, symbols as well. Now I can pick up something up here because I have one green, one yellow, one brown, and one r uh, wild card. So what do I want? But I think I want one of these because they give a wild card in the harvest. So that's a good way to just keep boosting up and being able to buy more and more veil cards as we play. And let's just discard that. And discard. There's a cursed land. And since I have the ability to discard cards from my from my field, I don't want to have card. I don't want to boost up the curse cards too much because I want to have them clean as a just bad card, so I can just discard them. So let's see. Pick up a bunch of points there. Um, so twenty-four. That's crazy. So let's just get. Where would we put two? Let's see. Do we have anything that triggers off of uh, this? Has two armor, but I don't think we have anything that triggers off of that. Uh, no. Huh. Well, we could do this. We could put the... Wow, so... <laughs> okay, we're gonna put Gaia's Chosen on this card. That would give us points for every type of symbol we have here. So now we want to have other types of symbols there. So we could go, like, with this Cobra here. That would give us a bunch of points later on. And then we can purchase up here. We're gonna pick up... Uh, this is nice. We get a permanent great green tree. That's awesome. And we can get one of the, these as well. So now, yeah, now, next round we will probably be able to... Oh no! He triggered the final round. That wasn't good. Oh, I thought we were gonna get one more turn, but we didn't. So anyhow, we won 38 to 10. So that, that was kind of cool. Uh, I didn't expect us to win that big, but now we at least have a proper full playthrough off Mystic Veil on the channel. I'm gonna rem I'm gonna remove the uh, other stream because that was just so much clogged up with with a lot of issues. So if you're watching this afterwards, at least now you have a proper playthrough. You can see off Mystic Veil. You can see how it works on the digital Steam. Really nice one, I think. I can recommend it. I think there's some bugs. I guess it was frozen up earlier, but I think they will fix that. As I mean, usually it's like that when a game hits. Uh, it's almost like you gotta used to it when you play like a digital games. You're used to when a game hits Steam. It's not going to work perfectly, which is kind of crazy that you get used to that. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more live coverage in just 50 minutes, we're going to have a live unboxing. I'm going to unbox 18 games live in 50 minutes. I haven't been able to put that up uh, or once again because of computer issues, but it's going to happen in 50 minutes. So if you're watching now, go grab a sandwich or something to drink. I'll be back in 50 minutes and uh what is it like 12 it's midnight for me so it's uh, it's 6 p.m new york time <laughs> that's in 52 minutes then we will do a live unboxing of 18 more games that we found the games from essence Spiel, of course uh okay i am going to check out slay the spire on steam thank you doug uh always nice to get some tips on games that i could be interested in uh, I'm going to note that down and check it out later on. But now I'm going to go set up for the stream that will be in 51 minutes now. So don't miss that. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening morning. Whenever you're watching, take care. Bye-bye.